What is up YouTube, it's Metatronics. Today I'm bringing you some Sharpshooter on Slums. Oh, it looks like I'm host. Oh yeah, you know it's gonna be a good game when you're host, right? <laughs> I don't pull host that often, actually. Um, I used to a lot more when I lived in Nashville, but in Austin, for some reason, I don't pull it as often. Uh, I don't know if it's just because our connection is not as awesome. I mean, I, that would be the obvious answer. I don't know uh, what about our connection makes it not so good here. Um, but, uh, yeah, pulling host is, a, it used to be an even bigger deal, um, but now I feel like everybody just kind of gets generally screwed with the whole, uh, um, uh, averaging out of what people see, um, and, you know, there was actually a really good video that Drifter did that explained the whole, uh, lag compensation deal that, uh, happens, and, and, uh, I would recommend taking a peek at that if you're really into wanting to find out uh, what that is all about because <laughs> I know uh, it's kind of interesting he explained it really well um, but the gist of it all is basically that um, on one person's machine uh, things happen one way on your machine it happens another way and then the game kinda talks to each other and averages out what happened so uh, it may look like they shot you around the corner or it may look like they shot one bullet and killed you but on a whole everyone gets screwed and when I mean everyone, I mean everyone. Like, look at that. That was three three bullets right there. That was straight on. Uh, yeah, I don't know how that works. But <laughs> that's what happens. Host does not do a whole lot in Black Ops. It really does not. Um, so, uh, tonight at 2 a.m. Um, Pacific time, what is that, California time, uh, the game Monaco finally comes out, and I'm incredibly excited about that. I know I've been talking about it, uh, and I hope you guys pick it up. At least pick up the demo and try it out, and uh, maybe you might decide that you want to play it more, and maybe want to play it with me, because that would be awesome. I know there are some of you guys who have already said you're going to get it, um, and I'm looking forward to having a heck of a lot of fun, because like I said, I want to be putting up some video, uh, getting our reactions, and capturing the whole feel of everything. It's going to be great. I'm excited. Totally excited to play. Every once in a while I will get a lobby that is a ton of fun to play in and by that I mean everybody in the lobby is having fun. Nobody is being too serious. Everybody is uh, wanting to win of course but not uh, cussing each other out and and talking about each other's mothers and all that redonkulousness. Um, and this was one of them. And when I got to the uh, crossbow I had been doing so good uh, they were all ragging on me for winning and stuff, and so I told them I was just going to uh, hip fire the crossbow until I was done with the crossbow uh, for the next 20 seconds or so. And uh, that's what I do. <laughs> it's not really that successful. I think I get a hit marker, maybe? Let me see. Nope, not even a hit marker, I don't think. Ugh. Well, <laughs> anyway, it was so much fun. And I told you guys. Uh, oh, there was the hit marker. Oh, another one. Oh, that's lame. But, uh,. I know I mentioned uh, to the guys in the room that uh, I had a YouTube channel and that they would probably show up on my YouTube channel. And I don't know if they actually uh, went and looked me up, but if you guys did, if you guys subscribed, say hi in the comments, because I'd love to know. Because you guys were a lot of fun, and we should play some more sometime. Oh, and Spade. <laughs> he, uh, yeah, I need to friend you, bro man. You asked to be friended, so I need to do that. My, my friends list is getting all full, and I don't know what to do. It's, uh... It's a tough life being a YouTuber. Everyone wants to play with you, especially when you ask. <laughs> so I gotta do. I gotta figure something else about something else out about that. <laughs> uh, oh, so kind of a, another random topic. I have been really, really excited today about something that I have been wanting to tell everyone, uh, but I, yeah, I haven't been able to get online because uh, work's been keeping me busy, and my wife and I have been. Uh, hanging out in the evenings and stuff these last few days, which has been a, a really great time. Um, but uh, I found this service today, this little subscription service that is called Feed Bands. And uh, with Feed Bands, you pay a monthly uh, fee and you get a vinyl record uh, that they pick uh, one a month. You get one of those a month. And it's from an indie band that they actually print the limited edition vinyl, or I should say press, it's not printing. Um, they press the limited edition vinyl just for the band, just for that that uh, particular... Oh, that would have hit him if he didn't go prone there. Um, but uh, just for the band, just for the one time. And uh, I'm super excited about that. 
And they have this That's nice little stuff. iPhone app uh, and Android app uh, for you Android folks out there where um, you can actually go and uh, kind of vote on the music. Ooh, was that a headshot? Yeah, it was. Um, and uh, when you go and take a look at the music, you can upvote it and that sort of thing. And that is so freaking cool. I found something new to do on my phone. Uh, I seem to, to play a few games and then they kind of trail off and I don't play them a whole lot. And then, uh, yeah, it just kind of goes around and around and around. But I'm super excited about getting new vinyl that is limited edition and from a super indie band, <laughs> that sort of deal. I'm super excited about it. Uh oh, am I the last? Am I the final kill? Uh, I think I am. But uh, I won <laughs> in the big toe. Wow, everybody's shooting for me. Jeez. There we go. 30 and 17. Guys, it has been Metatronics, and I will see you next time.